What do you think of when you think of a garden surrounding a head office building? Neatly mown grass and hard lines? Maybe a strange sculpture or two? Or a new entry sign? Corporate gardens often don't have a reputation for being very welcoming or very natural. Often they can be as regimented as the processes used inside the buildings and seem to be more designed to be looked at from a distance than used by either humans or animals. But does it have to be this way? Lloyd's Banking Group's Scottish head office is at the Mound in Edinburgh, where a museum on the Mound also is, and they didn't think so. Over the past year or so, our gardens have had a bit of a reimagining. We've been making some big changes to allow nature to take over parts of our garden in a rewilding project designed to encourage wildlife to flourish in the very heart of the city centre. We spoke to Paddy Croke, Facilities Management Customer Services Manager, who has been heavily involved in the project, to find out more. So Paddy, what is the rewilding project? So the rewilding project uh, came about from us recognising that protecting nature and improving biodiversity play a a huge part in the two main crises that seem to be part of life at the moment, which is climate crisis and biodiversity loss. Uh, We've worked with the Scottish Wildlife Trust and Mighty Landscaping uh, to look at enhancing the biodiversity on site by trying to create more natural spaces that hopefully uh, animals and humans can thrive in. What are the practical changes that are taking place in the garden? Well, firstly, gone are the days of the manicured grass and the perfectly trimmed hedges. Um, Instead, what we'll be looking at doing is introducing more natural plant life that you'd normally see in and around Edinburgh. Um, By doing so, we hope to not only enhance what we've currently got but add additional plants that this will help create a better food source for insects, birds, bees and even larger mammals. How long is the work expected to take? So the good news is we're almost finished. We're hoping the project will be finished at the start of October. The only thing is you might not see a lot of plant life until next year because a lot of them will be seedlings. Can you tell us anything about some of the plants that have been added? Yeah, so all the plants are wild plants you'd naturally find in Edinburgh um, and we've planted a huge array of different ones from dog's violet, foxglove, wood sage, cornflower, yarrow and even ferns uh, along with lots and lots of others. What sort of wildlife is the project designed to encourage? So by improving the natural landscape around the mound uh, we're hoping to attract more natural wildlife uh, uh, both common and endangered. Uh, look out for species such as uh, carrion crows, uh, blackbirds, butterflies, squirrels and uh, even wood pigeons. Uh, and if you're very lucky, you might even see some more rare animals such as bats, hedgehogs and swifts. Uh, a lot of these animals appear in the Scottish biodiversity list, which makes their well-being very important. What kind of other environmental improvements have been happening around the building? So, we're currently working on multiple options to look at reducing the environmental impact the building has. Um, We're looking at internal LED lighting, roof insulation, window insulation, along with uh, heat pumps. Um, That's some of the work we're hoping come 2023 we can start doing. We've also carried out some work already, such as changing the external lighting uh, and replacing that with a full LED system. And we've also installed six new electric vehicle chargers. What's your long-term vision for this project? What would you like to see to achieve? So the the aim of the the overall project is uh, to reach carbon zero operations by 2030 and to reduce our carbon emissions uh, by at least 75% when compared to 2018 to 2019.